say sniper, not the mother sensei. 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 So, Mr. Alex, you brought your Honda Prelude down to us today. Yeah, the loot. It's boosted. I think it's pushing about. To be fair, I had to turn it down because it was too fast to go. 1200 on the street and it was a bit fast. So I had to turn it down to about three, it's 350 at the engine, uh, but then it's only pushing about maybe 346 to the wheels, which isn't too bad. And with the NOS, we're probably pushing at least, at, what did I say earlier in the car? 360 to the wheels? Yeah. No, 340 to the wheels. Well, probably. You, you also said 1200 at one point. Well, I turned it down. It was at 1200, but I turned it down. I live in a place with old people. I was setting car alarms off left, right and centre. I had to put a muffler in at one point. It doesn't actually lock. So this does shake about, but <laughs> solid. <laughs> the uh, turbo is down here. The, it's red and black to go with the fuse box over there. It makes that noise from every time to time. If you have a good turbo, you know that it randomly blows out. To be fair, I've never had it dyno, but I've had it down the A45 and it's, it rips. The body kit on this is pretty striking. Do you want to run us, run us through it? So back in 1999, this was actually um, at the peak of engineering and um, an evolution of car design. I think they designed it after this car. They called it Max Power. If you've ever seen Fast and Furious, loosely based around the escapades that have happened in this vehicle. With this, um, it, it's got all of the aggression at the front. Um, I don't really know how this is tied on. It's got one bolt in, it's angled, uh, but again, aggression. It's the way the car goes, it's like a wave. That's why it's blue. Big boy wheels. Big boy wheels. Yeah, what wheels are they? Big boy wheels. <laughs> Big boy wheels. Is, um, is that the name or is that just what you call them? What? Big boy wheels. <laughs> Am I right in saying that the uh, the bodywork's all been smoothed in? Because there's no sort of visible line here between the rear quarter and the bumper. Yep, so if any of you knows anything about DIY or plumbing or cork, the main part of it is because it gives it a little bit more traction on the rear tyres, as you would know. Um, but most of that comes from these see-through lights. A lot of these lights are red on a lot of the preludes, but what I've done here is gone and brought the worst ones, <laughs> and the ones that look the worst, because they're actually lighter. Again, weight distribution and all that. You see on the license plate here, um, we've got a bulldog. The bulldog says back off, so know, know your place if you see me. Before we did have a um, spoiler on the back of this, uh, what that was to do was to create downforce, but I thought I don't need that anymore. Um, so what I wanted was just this sellotape. And what that actually is, is extra weight. Um, and also stops the rain from getting into the boot um, because I've got a, a subwoofer which we'll come on to later. I see you've also gone for a slightly different font on the number plate as well. Comic Sans, um, Microsoft Word, if you know you know. If you drive above 10 miles per hour that pops out. It's because sometimes I'm going too fast the car's hard to see so this sticks out a little bit more so when I am indicating uh, people know. Am I right in saying you've got two ways of starting this car Alex? Indeed I have. So the uh, first one, obviously the uh, bog standard key, if you're a peasant you've got it. Um, and what you might have noticed if you're a, a, a switched on individual, uh, this shiny blue light. I am not a police officer but what I am is a push start kind of guy. Um, and what my car does is it actually has a push start button. Um, all you've got to do is push it and it starts. But can you start it on the key as well? Yeah, it's actually got two petrol, two petrol tanks in this. Um, it's about, it's about a 12 litre now. The one awesome feature <laughs> of the um, car is the handy little sunroof. It's semi-automatic. What it does is only releases a gap of about five millimetres um, to just release a little bit of airflow, which is again nice. But then when you want the full, the full feature, you got to give it a little. 
30% push with your muscle, um, and then continue the continue the press of the button. What was the last lady you had in the car? <laughs> Speaking, of, I'll take it quite a few because you're finding it hard to remember. Um, a, a foot surgeon. I see you've got actually got a, a Type R badge. I didn't know they made a Type R prelude. It's because of the amount of work that I've done to modify it. It's practically a race car now, and that's what Type R means. Is it? It's a type of a race car, and it matches my red st um, gear stick. So at the end of the day, it looks it's it's, it's aesthetically pleasing. I did have to get used to the the indicators being on this side, but uh, if you know about imports, you know what that means. You've got wind protectors. You don't even really know what they're for, but they're there, and they're there for good looks. And they're also there for when you're having a fag and it's raining, and you only want to let a little bit of smoke out so you don't get the rain in, but you don't want to hot box the car. You can flick a little bit of ash out without getting the rain in, which is handy. What do your neighbours think of the car? Fuck them. Right, should we take it for a little spin? Yeah, try to keep up. Uh, I'll show you what she can do. Uh...